This is the first tutorial in how to create a space game from scratch. And since it's quite complicated and there's so many pieces to this game, I'm going to just introduce one piece at a time and then you'll kind of have to figure out how to put them all together. But I'll explain how to make your spaceship, your controls, any enemy AI, pretty much everything in my game, but you'll have to kind of customize it to to fit your game. And the first thing that you do with any game is you import your sprites. Uh, to import your sprites, you just right click and create create sprite. Now I put I created a bunch of folders here first to organize all my sprites because I have so many. And you can find some of these graphics at my site, graphicsforgames.com, that you can download for free. I do know I have some space backgrounds you can use. If you already know how to import sprites and make objects out of your sprites, you can fast forward this tutorial a little bit. But for the most part, every time you insert a, a sprite, and here's an escape pod, it's actually animated, make sure to crop it down. You can go to Edit Sprite, Transform, Crop. That way you get rid of the bounding box and it, com it comes right to the edge of your object. There will be instances that you have larger objects like this bug alien mothership where the, the collision checking is not working correctly. In that case you can put on the precision colli collision checking check mark box here and modify the mask. In this case, the mask will show that the area of collision is wherever it is dark. If you saw some dark area over here, that means that you might actually be collisioning with the bounding box. In that case, you can fix by adjusting the tolerance or you can manu manually set the parameters for the collision. Once you got all your sprites into your game, and I would recommend for this first part importing these few objects. A planet, because I'll be showing you how to land on a planet. A space station, how to buy from a sp uh, ships from a space station. And then a basic ship, a little, a little spaceman, that will be the guy that enters and exits your ship. And also a, a spaceship for the enemy. That's what we'll be starting with. Okay, so I'm going to go to my objects here, and I will be giving you this file I have with all my coding and everything in it soon enough, halfway through my tutorials. Okay, so we have, um, have my objects, and you notice I put them in similar folders of my sprites. And what you'll want to do is you'll just right-click in here, create object, and then I'll ask you an object name. I give it the exact same name as my ship. In this case, um, let's see, can delete that. I have a starter ship folder here that has player one ship. I put it starter ship one because when I when I make player two, I'll put starter ship two. I don't recommend making player two until player one is completely done, as if this was a single player game. That way, when you make player two, all the collisions and most of the coding will already be done for player two since he'll have the same controls as player one. Which I will be making this a two-player game later as well. Okay, once you've imported your ships for your sprites and your objects, uh, go ahead and go to tutorial two. I'm keeping these tutorials sh a little bit short because sometimes my, my s sound unsyncs from the video and so I have to keep my videos in smaller segments. 